Hey everybody, welcome to Friday Fruit Clips. This is of course my weekly series where I play some select clips of spiritual bullies, false prophets, false teachers, always wanting to stand in opposition of those that would pervert the gospel of Jesus Christ. We love Jesus Christ and we want to make sure that we are serving him in truth and sincerity according to the word of God. So we expose, again, the bullies. So we got some pretty good clips picked out this week. Here we go. All right, so first up, we've got Tomi Ariomi. Now, this is the video that I watched. You can see the title. 111,000 views. This was put up five months ago. So we're going to listen to a clip from Tomi here, and then we'll, we'll comment after, uh, after we hear it. I asked the Lord what this unhappy cloud was. And he said, Tommy, when you go into Canada, I need you to deal with the demonic spirit of politeness. I stood back for a second, and like many of you watching, what is the demonic spirit of politeness? Well, Canada, like the UK, where I come from, is a very polite nation. Everybody says sorry, everybody says please, everybody says thank yous, all in the right and even the wrong places. And I realized that some of that can actually be rooted to a demonic spirit called politeness. Okie dokie, yeah, the demon spirit of politeness. He said God was telling him about this. And of course, you know, because that's a thing, right? You guys didn't know that. That's a thing. So, wow, okay, good grief, good grief. What is this all about? Well, a couple of things. We know that with the false prophets, the false teachers, the storytellers, that they often put demons behind many different things. You know, the, the demon of driving too fast, the demon spirit of stinginess, or the, uh, the demon spirit of foot odor, evil spirits of eating chocolates. It's, it's always something. You know, God forbid there should be any self-accountability, right? It's always a demon behind everything. And well, in this case, what happens when they run out of explanations and they've used up all the demons of things? Well, they get creative. And they've got to bring a new thing, a new demon. So that's what Tommy's done here. He's gotten a little creative here and maybe added in a little bit of shock value because this is kind of shocking when you hear it. And I bet you didn't know that demons of politeness can hijack an entire nation. This, of course, being Canada in this case, and cause the people not to murder, not to commit adultery, not to steal. No, no, it's going to cause people to be just too darn polite. It's a real problem, and clearly the problem of being polite is destroying Canada. It's just destroying Canada. But I think Tommy's on to something here now that I think about it, because when I was in Canada last year, and I went to check out of my hotel, and the clerk there said, Hey-ho, I hope you enjoyed your stay, sir. And I remember this wicked, evil presence coming upon me from this person as he smiled and handed me a complimentary orange juice. And I thought to myself, good grief, what kind of diabolical evil is this coming from this warlock hotel clerk? This politeness is just so evil. So, you know, I did the natural thing. I rebuked him and commanded that he resist these demons of politeness. And he looked at me and said, well, what am I supposed to do? And I said, just don't be so darn polite. It's evil. So he punched me in the face and said, take off, hoser. <laughs> this is a true story. And uh, so I stood back up and I wiped the blood from my nose and I said, okay, all right, that's better. I can really feel the love of God coming through you now. Now that that demon of politeness is gone. So yeah, wow. Anyway, forgive me for my silliness. Yeah, it, it is just that stupid, isn't it? But consider something when it comes to people like Tommy here. Sadly, this works. People will believe that this is a real thing. And I'm sorry that I even have to say this, but if you're polite, stay polite. It's a good thing. It's kind. And there's no explanation that Tommy can give here which could make any sense after that original statement. 
Politeness is good. People prefer polite. It's wonderful. So again, this is just another shtick, another tactic. They want you to believe that there's something out there that's not out there. So I wanted to just show this to you just so you could see how ridiculous. Now look at him. He is a confirmed false prophet. This is not a debate. This is confirmed. I've done a video on him. But what they like to do is set themselves into positions of authority and make you believe that they are great ones of God. And this is nonsense. Stay away from this guy. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, I guess I should say one thing because I, I can already see the comments coming. Uh, if you think that perhaps Tommy was talking about people being polite with the intention of deceiving or being deceptive in order to be evil, well, that's a different thing. Then what he should have just said was, these are demons of deception. But he didn't say that. He said it was, he said that God said it was uh, demons of politeness. So just for the record, I, and again, sorry that I have to say that, but I can already see the comments coming. All right, speaking of Canada, it's Brother John Elving. Here he is. Here's his channel. And uh, we love Brother John Elving because he's a street minister up in Canada, and he goes out, he helps the homeless people. He helps the drug addicts. And in addition to that, being on the front lines as he is, he also uh, produces videos exposing false prophets, false teachers, bad doctrine. So he's a busy guy, and he does a lot for the Lord. And, and again, I can't uh, recommend him enough. But he did a video today on Apostle Catherine Crick, and I just had to share this. I had to share this because uh, this woman is an absolute fraud and has no fear of our God. And so I thought it was definitely important to show it on Friday Fruit Clips. So we're going to listen to John a couple of clips, and then I'll uh, get on at the end and add some commentary. But so I want to give a thanks, a uh, shout out and a thanks to uh, Brother John Elvey for the work that he does. And uh, so let's listen to some of this. Here we go. These have been seen, well, potentially hundreds of thousands of times. Well, this one here is 20,000 times. Uh, this one here, what happened? This one here, I think, is around 15,000 times. Oh, All voodoo doll. And uh, very popular, 70,000 times. So we're going to break it down. I'm going to play for you this particular girl here. Uh, she has four exorcisms, and then we'll look at the other two. Bless you. Same reaction here. Everyone must go. She will continue to be set free as she's positioned herself where anointing is flowing right here. This is what deliverance looks like. Deliverance looks different. It's, it's demons leaving the body. What freedom looks like. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Everyone, everyone must go. Everyone must go. Those who have seen demon deliverance know that this looks strange. To this woman, I cancel them. I break off the attachment now, and I declare every demonic spirit that was attached to those things that she just named must leave this body now. You must leave her soul now in Jesus' name. Nothing through him, through the book. She read the book, it opened up her mind to this, to the spirit of the Antichrist. Please. <laughs> well, I bind Joe to the beast. Your horns and your heads are gone. You have no power left. Look at me, beast. All right, so what you watched in this clip from Brother John, and I certainly encourage you to go watch his entire video. Um, 
But what you watched here is what I would call the theater of Catherine Crick. Now here we've got the same girl who is obviously an actress and she's being delivered at several different events on different days from what they want you to believe is demon or devil possession. Now this is fake, this is fraudulent, and Catherine Crick has zero fear of our living God. In fact, she mocks true deliverance by putting on this theater, and believe me, she is getting rich doing it. It's absolutely disgusting, but it gets even worse. There are different keys to receive complete freedom. And what happens is the more that we entangle ourselves with, with witchcraft and psychics and things like that, it's like a more complex deliverance. So sometimes it's not just about the commanding the demons, but there's other keys that need to be unlocked. And one of them is to sow seeds. Did you pay money to the psychic? Yes. Yes. How much? Who knows? Hundreds. It's ongoing for years because I didn't know, but I've been following you for six years. So it's ongoing for years. So in the spiritual realm, there's laws. I've been, I've been sowing 10% of everything that comes through my hands for the last two years. 10%. God's saying more. Okay. Because 10% is with what's, with, what's God's. So now we need to sow specifically for his deliverance and speak. This is for his deliverance and and a good amount. If there's a good amount given to psychics, it needs to be a good amount because that's the key that needs to unlock his complete freedom. And it needs to be where his power is. Like Fivefold Church, for example, you can sow here. It you would have to be an absolute psychopath to be in front of a lady with her boy on the ground telling the mom she God told her that she has to give her money so that the little boy doesn't have demons. These people are absolutely heartless. For his deliverance. And speak, this is for his deliverance. And and a good amount, if there's a good amount given to psychics, it needs to be a good amount because that's the key that needs to unlock his complete freedom. And it needs to be where his power is. That is one of the most diabolically satanic things I've heard in a long time. Little boy on the ground, Catherine Kuma is completely powerless to help that little boy. Then she says to her mom that she's got to give her money in order to unlock the spiritual keys of deliverance. Now, if you're watching this video, and if you have studied spiritual warfare and deliverance, you're probably screaming. <laughs> You're like, no, no, you don't need to give Catherine. Because she's totally powerless over this young boy, she turns to her mom, his mom, and asks her how much money she gave to psychics. And then the, she's going on this idea of a deliverance seed money in order so that the boy doesn't have demons. She not only has to give not only 10%, but lots, lots of money. All right? Yeah, not much I can add to that. Uh, John said it perfect. It is diabolical to think that you can sell the gift of God when clearly Jesus said, freely you have received, freely give. Jesus never charged anybody for deliverance, nor did the disciples. It is as unbiblical as you can get. Just terrible. Now, as John concluded his video, he played some clips that maybe many of you have seen on Catherine Crick. Uh, questionable background, cultish, absolutely. Freaky, uncomfortable, cringeworthy. It is wow. So I'm just going to play these clips, and you can hear what she says. Uh, I'm not sure who this guy is, Baba something, but it was almost a worship. These women lined up and worshiped this guy. So I'll let these clips play, and then uh, we'll move on to the next one. Things will grow greatly from today. In your life. I release the power to change environment, to change anything in people's life. Receive it in Jesus' name. It is yours. 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 All right, and then this is another time. He's, anoint he, he's anointed her quite a few times, and um, we'll listen to this once. 
pako upon you apostle Catherine juu yako mtume Catherine as this anointing will help you right. to lift to reach all of the people of Los Angeles to bring them to you baba tunataka kutumika kwa ajili ya kuwagusa watu wote wa Los Angeles tuwalete kwako we there's so many people hurting in LA there's so many people hurting and across America and we want God to use us to reach them and to bring them to you so that they may be healed and delivered and be directed into God's will for their life and for that so that they may receive what we have received. Kuna watu wengi ndani ya Los Angeles na Marekani nzima wanaumia wanaugua tunataka tuwachukue wale watu wote tuwalete kwako ili waweze kufunguliwa na kuwekwa huru. We we don't want to keep this to ourselves. Hatutaki kuiacha iwe ya kwetu peke yetu. We want to share this with the world. Tunataka kushare jambo hili na ulimwengu mzima. And all of this joy that you see in all of us and this transformation. Na hii furaha unayoiona ambayo tuna sisi tunaiona pia katikati yetu na haya mabadiliko. It is only because of you baba. Ni kwa sababu yako baba. We would be nothing without you. Tungekuwa It is only because of you baba. Ni kwa sababu It is only because of you baba. Ni kwa All right, a couple of things to consider here. This clip right here that brother John brought to you. Uh this was Catherine Crick before she blew up with this alleged ministry over here in the United States. Right? This is where she came. This is what she came out of. And this is a cult, and it is squirming, cringeworthy. To the listeners right now, you as Christians, would you ever address another human like this? And the answer is no. It's all because of you, Baba. Just nauseating. So Catherine Crick came forth from this cult. and then just out of nowhere just blew up in the United States to over 400,000 subscribers while she puts on her theater but it's just again very cringeworthy very evil and again she has no fear of the living god so share brother John's video uh, this woman needs to be exposed and she also needs to give an account as to why she uses actresses By the way that wasn't the only lady again if you watch brother John's video there, there's many repeat actors that get delivered in their fake deliverance ministry in her fake deliverance ministry so whew, just ugh sick feeling watching this woman she is something else so all right let's move on to the next one now he's almost becoming a staple on Friday fruit clips of course I'm talking about tombstone Robin Bullock. Today I'm going to play you just a short clip so that you can hear I guess you could call this a nugget of wisdom that he says came from God. Here we go. For do not challenge me says the most high. Do not challenge me with your puny technology. For I can breathe and freeze it all. Do not challenge me says the Lord I gave you the mouth that you're speaking with and I gave you the behind that you crap with I gave you the mouth that you're speaking with and I gave you the behind that you crap with Now I pray that some scribe somewhere is writing all of this down Perhaps it could go like this The book of Bullock chapter 1 verse 1 Thus saith the Lord I gave you the mouth that you're speaking with and I gave you the behind that you crap with Wow Memorize that one kids That's a doozy such wisdom So again thanks to Robin Bullock in full garb with his wizard staff and his full on tombstone ensemble hat and all thanks robin all right so that's going to do it for this episode of friday fruit clips i sure do thank you for joining me a little bit shorter than usual as i'm just getting back into the swing of things again special thanks to brother john elving and uh 
always, always pray for these false prophets, these false teachers, that they would repent and come to the truth of Jesus Christ. Also pray for the followers who are in delusion. Pray for those followers to awaken and also come back to the truth of Jesus Christ. So again, thank you, and we'll see you next time.